Hi, everybody, welcome back. Okay. We'll go right here. These guys are just going to keep, like, bouncing around because they think we're too strong now. Could get one. Let's get one more dog. <clears throat> I think we might just take the fight to them. Just come down here and just like go for this port. It's like our money's okay, but it's not it's not great. And we need to keep fighting, and I mean they're just gonna keep bouncing around. So I think if we just take the fight to them, if we just go down and just start killing this stuff. I mean, even if they take a couple of our towns, I I think I think it'll be alright. We could hire another ward up here and just get a little starter army. But that might I think be better than just trying to go for this. Because this is really spread out. It's a pretty terrible geography. And these guys really don't want to come at us, I don't think, right now. Uh, and if we come over here, then we're just going to be getting Kislev 24-7. I mean, they're already probably going to keep sending stuff over here. But I think just trying to secure this portion of the map and just shut up these elves and Empire from coming across at us. And I think maybe we can be in an okay place. Okay, yeah. They wanted peace a little bit ago, but... Mange doesn't like us, because we're getting stronger. Is there anything worthwhile? No. This is what's recruitable, period, in their faction, by the way. I've had people tell me in the past, Oh, you just have to make a Tier 3 town, and then you get their Tier 3 units. This is what's recruitable, period. Right? Either in their main town or in their other towns. Um, and so if you don't see anything there that you want, unless you're hoping that they get something later, um, that's what you have to do. And they have to have a capital um, to put the outpost in. So if they don't have a capital, then... Provincial capital. Okay. I don't think it's worth going to tier 3 until we're ready to actually recruit something from tier 3. Okay, so we're going to have to do the ambush thing, I think, because they're just going to keep running from us. Okay. He did dash. Chaos oh, we can't hit him this turn. For the ruinous powers. No higher power than I. I don't know where the other dudes went. Okay, so they're like over here hiding out. Okay, well, let's start with this. The 15 armor, 10 melee defense. We have healing magic. I probably just prefer the offense right now. Um... Yeah, we just want to keep pressing, try to get to those exalted. And really, this over here, this um, plus eight bonus versus infantry for everybody is pretty massive. 
Okay, we do have Plague Ridden available. And then getting the switchable plagues would be good. How far is that? That's uh, 770. So one, like, you know, 250 fight or something will get us super close to that. I mean, getting over to here is nice. We do get replenishment for that, but... Switchable plagues is probably decent enough. Okay, so let's go ahead and fight him. So weak. So weak. Not. Uh, <laughs> I think it's Pyrrhic, huh? Okay, so I think we just kill this and then just beeline just straight south for Nordland and the elves and just back them off. <clears throat> I was going to take a rift down to the bottom of Empire, but I think just trying to secure these ports in this area is probably better. Because, like, these goblins, after we kill this, their main town is getting sieged, and there's the Graylings are over there messing with them. <clears throat> so it's really just the other guy, Sarl or whatever. That's the problem. I maybe should have gone for, like, just a couple more blood letters. I've been kind of greeting out, just going with the Nerdlings, which has worked out so far, but... Hopefully it's not too loud. <clears throat> so I'm going to set up over here. Main reason for this is we just want to get off the hill. If you can help it, you really do not want to fight when the enemy has an elevated position. I don't know all the numbers, but it does affect a lot of things. There's a video out there about positioning and how much it is. It's like lots of percentage. Depends on how far they are, what their elevation is above you. But um, it's pretty extreme on a big hill, you're very disadvantaged. We don't care too much about these reinforcements, but I guess we do get an extra dog. You yeah, might as well, I suppose. What are they even, what is this? Whatever it is, it's not doing any damage. Nope, we're, we're not going that way. Like, it was telling me I was pretty unfavored, and now it's, like, the green bar is, like, saying that I'm really favored. I mean, I know they handicap it for legendary, but... Come on, man. Oh, it's just some kind of slow trickster shard. Okay. I didn't realize the range was that high on it. this. Maybe now. It's interesting how they don't have like a when time runs out you lose. That's kind of cool. I like that. That just kind of leads to cheese. Used to be able to force draws in multiplayer by just like running around. What? Uh, is like a spell or something that casts me? Okay. 
Whatever, if some of the nerdlings are hurt, that's fine. Ooh, okay, nice. The tree's blocked his little spell he was trying to cast. Did I not tell him to come over there? Who is not running? Like, okay. They're thinking about not running over there. Somewhere? Oh, there he is. Okay, we got some actual stuff going on over here. All right, come on. Oh, I thought I already had my lord on him. I just had other things on him. Yeah, ignore that.
I don't know, I kind of feel like that was a massacre. So they should all die, but I just want to make sure we get as much corruption as possible here. Or, um, whatever glory. I mean, the dogs are just going <laughs> to have a field day. That main thing, the goblins have such low leadership to begin with. That melee attack on the dogs is actually pretty nice because they have such huge um, weapon strength. That's pretty nuts. That's why they have 65 weapon strength. It's like 40 charge bonus. I mean, they're better than, like, the vast majority of Cav. They don't have as much armor, but just in terms of the sheer offense, they don't have, like, the weight for a charge, but... So I could try to go for those switchable plagues. I wanted to now with Nurgle, potentially. I mean, it's not like a massive deal. Going for this will get us those exalted blood letters though, a little bit faster, which is nice, and the cannon. Okay, I guess we'll stick to the plan. So I think we just want yeah, blood feast, and then just get to the get to the discounts. Six Chaos Warriors, three Blood Letters, a Blood Reaper, and one Chaos Warrior Hound. So it's 9, 10, 11 units. Um, not sure if that's worth. I don't think so. Air Blades is not super safe right now. I mean, it's not bad. Like, I guess we'll go ahead and upgrade that. 
that money rolling in. <clears throat> Get four public orders, we need it. Right, let's go with that. Okay, and then I think... attack. I mean, what's the point of even making this sentient? I mean, I guess it does give me five melee defense might be a little bit better. What do I currently have? I don't even tell what I currently have. Oh, this this one. Um, ten percent armor piercing weapon damage. Uh, I'd rather probably have ten melee attack. Okay. Okay, we're getting very close to those blood letters. Okay, so I think we just push south. Can we beat them if we dash? I'm not entirely confident of that. Like, it's a big penalty if you dash. Upgrade these right now. Jedi told to ruin a shit. Speak. Yeah, they're not really feeling it. Oh, do any of our people have any more missions? No. Are they also at war with Sarl? No, Nordwin and those dudes. Marienberg and those guys. Okay. Sorrel is potentially going to be annoying. They are at war with Clan Mange. And the elves. I mean, if I kill the elves a lot, they'll get off our back. <clears throat> Commit to this back door, son. No higher power than I. I mean, these guys can't really threaten us. They're just going to try to force a rebellion off of raiding, which, I mean, whatever. If, they, if that's how it goes down. Ooh, shoot. I didn't notice uh, this is attrition. That's going to be annoying. So these dudes are going to back, back up. Is this attrition, too? Severe storm. Hmm. Well, I mean, we just gotta power through it. Sacred execution! 
Get him. Maybe. No, it's teasing me. Use a different color! Why is it green for the first movement and green for the second movement? Use a different color. It's so obnoxious. Because <clears throat> I feel like I have, I'm like, oh, I got this movement. And it's like, nope, that's the. That's the dash. Like, why can't dash movement be yellow or something? It makes sense. It's dangerous to do it. Anyways. Small rant over. Um, I mean, if I upgrade these to tier 3, then I would get... Uh... Five percent in couple more buildings. If I upgrade to tier three, then um, <clears throat> I would get a better garrison. How much better? Six warriors of chaos, three blood letters, one blood reaper, one chaos hound. So eleven total with six three. Nine total with five two, basically. So we'd get a little bit more for 4,000 gold. That would also give us a chance to hire a Blood Reaper. Oh, can't we hire one right now? Since it's unlocked? Yeah, I don't know why. Okay. It just like skipped my mind that I could hire one of these. Stalker's pretty good. You can run around in the forest and up hills and things, and it doesn't affect you as much. Might just go for weapon strength, though. I don't know. Like This, this is relevant, even walking up ramps and towns and things like that. I don't think you get a... You may not get a penalty for, like, fighting up hills. You do have better movement speed, too. I guess... Go for that. Yeah, I should have hired that a while ago. I just... I don't know. I just blanked out on it. So it was my bad. I mean, these aren't, like, super game-breaking, but they're pretty good. They're like a little mini lord version. They just fight, basically. They just kind of help you kill enemy lords. You can get a throne, which is cool. Um, they can assassinate assault units and stuff like that. I mean, they're pretty underwhelming, but you do get these things, which are like pretty good little bonuses. I don't think we can get cultists, right? No. Because, yeah, I mean, it wouldn't really make a ton of sense for us to have cultists. Okay. So I have to play catch up next turn. So, yeah, it's. Not not a huge deal, but it's like yeah, he's not leveled up as much as he could be, but I also was able to save money that whole time, so it's kind of a wash because we haven't needed him. Okay, where'd those elves run? They they ran out of there real quick. Like wow, he dashed. I yeah. Okay, well the we didn't take that much more attrition. We are quickly losing our mojo here, though. Demon but once we get down here, I think we'll be good. No higher power than I. So much power. How strong are these elves? Wonder if I start with the humans and then go for the elves. It says they're kind of strong with the garrison. I'm 
Okay, so maybe we just land at this place. Earshoffen, whatever. We are gonna. How many more can I hire? Okay, we do have to be. We we. Okay. We're probably gonna have to leave this dude back. To close. Um, to close the, whatever the rift when that comes through. Rifts are annoying to have to like close and things like that. I guess we can spam stuff. Does he have assault units? You know, we could just spam specialist or assassinate. How much does assault units cost? He doesn't even have any units to assault. Okay. Uh, 312. That's probably worth trying to just level him up. Kind of expensive, but alright. Graylings running them off. I thought I already had that mission. It's just like reminding me. Okay, so we don't have the horned head yet. Yeah, I'd rather have the pestilent decay. It's just so good. Back to all the way off. How do these guys get on land? Oh, they're just hiding in there. Ooh. Can I block him? I might be able to block these elves in. And then we could come up on here and then try to make a run at him. I think we can block him in. Cause if I sit right here, right on the edge, I don't think they're gonna be able to run. Or we could just ignore them and go for this, and then they try to run over here and backdoor me, maybe. Not possible. Yeah, let's see if we can pinch him in here. They might be able to fit, just like barely squeeze through that. Okay, I think we have them blocked in. I don't, they can't get on shore. There's no area right there to do it. Unless this is some kind of elaborate trap. I guess we'll go with that for the three extra every turn. Let's 
go ahead and put that on there for the public order. Dude, are you kidding me? He gets to run through the... through... Both zones of control, all the way around this, like a dash worth of movement. I'm sorry, CA, but that's some bullshit. You gotta excuse the language, but that is freaking ridiculous. Like, there's no way that should be okay. Like, why not? I mean, okay, if you get to run out of the zone of control, okay. How about, like, right here? Now, these idiots are just gonna dock probably next turn. I don't think I can. Of course I can't. I could dash and get up there, but certainly not. Did I beat them if I'm dashed? Maybe. What's the other option? We're taking. We're gonna take too much attrition. It's just always storming here. They've got an 18 stack parked there. All right, we're just gonna dash, I think, and try to get up here. And just hope we can beat them if if we're dashed. I mean, they should not be able to attack us unless they also dash to get up here. Cannot believe it. No, right through here. Right, right here. Oh, there's a beach right there. Holy shit, I didn't even realize that. We're gonna be cut off though if that happens. Alright, come over this way. Because it doesn't matter too much. I could have been away from him, but. No, 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 no! I mean, he's only level 3, but dude, this is going to be so annoying. Like, I literally click right here. Why can't he hop up? I guess they can argue, oh, there's a zone of control right here. He can't hop up on this. It's like, dude, he just freaking ran around the zone. Of, who cares about the zone of control? It doesn't matter, apparently. Damn, they're, they're gonna hop up and attack me on the first turn, aren't they? They're gonna do it to me. They're gonna have an amphibious attack and kill him next turn. I guess if they do that, I should be able to run them down and I kill them. So maybe that's worth the trade. I don't know. Okay, does he have any ancillaries? Let's take them off. Might be the end of uh, end of your story there, Broski. Okay. Unbelievable. Amphibious stuff is just so counterintuitive and just stupid so much. I just, I hate it. That's why I did not like a lot of factions that had to do amphibious things, like Vampire Coast a lot of times, or even like some places with the High Elves and stuff like that. It's just really obnoxious. Yeah, of course, of course. Of course they can just come right up immediately on the first turn. 
and attack. And of course, I can't get out where I'm like clicking it. Like, why did it show me an arrow? Why did it show me the green arrow? Like, I could get out on the sand right there, and then when I click it, it takes a completely different way. Fucking pissed. I'll get over it. It's just really fucking troll. They better be there, and I better be able to fight them. They better not have, like, dashed and gone back out on the water or something. That's, you know that's what they've done, right? Go ahead and place your bets. How are they going to weasel their way out of this? How are they going to get away so I don't actually have to fight them? Place your bets now. Are they going to get a full dash on land, or are they just going to go back in the sea? Or am I going to chase them and attack them, and then they're going to get to run out of my reinforcement range? We're doing this just to level up. <clears throat> so that when, like, the sorrel comes at me... Alright, we getting in a boat and running away, or what? Oh, we're actually running somewhere that makes sense. Okay. Well, if it's trading that dude for this army, that might be worth. If they don't have another, like, huge-ass army waiting. Okay, well, we're banged up. Yeah, they're coming for me, so... We'll see how it goes. Crushing defeat, really? Why are they running then? Why are they running away if the AI thinks it's crushing defeat? <sighs> gotta chill, gotta chill. At least we got some snow outside, that's cool. I live down south in the United States, we don't see a lot of snow. Now, I don't know, we might be snowed in for a few days. We're supposed to go on this, uh, my wife and I are supposed to be meeting up with her parents, going on this little beach trip to a nearby beach, but I don't know, we're going to have to see, <laughs> it looks like a lot of snow for this area, but anyways, sorry, I got a little, little perturbed earlier, I try to, I try to not get too frustrated, but man, some of the movement, especially around, like I said, amphibious type of stuff is really annoying. I wish they could have brought the naval battles in. Um, but I think there was some kind of copyright stuff. I don't even know, like, if I would want the naval battles. Like, I saw the, you know, I did them in Attila, and they're just kind of, like, kind of obnoxious. I don't know. If there was a way to, like, do them to make them cool... start firing on me here pretty soon. This dude's already firing on me. Sent by 
Okay, yeah, there, there you go. One. Okay. Elves have really long range. What? Oh, they're firing on. Okay, they're trying to focus fire, my lord. We've got the healing magic, so it's not like as annoying as it could be, but. Yeah, we gotta try to get around these spears. Man, they have so many spears. Oh, sh I thought I had more magic than that. Okay, I was running everyone together so that I could get an overcasted heal, but apparently that's not happening. Oh my god, now they've all got... And those spears can hold up for quite a while. Yeah, the wasps are in kind of bad shape, but...
How much? 14? This is so dumb how this like fluctuates too. Bounces up and down. Sometimes it's hard to tell like how much you have at key moments. Mm, we got a little banged up. Alright, so he's at his limit. Okay, they should be all dead, but I'm not sure sure. Again, if we get the same amount of glory, so unless we actually physically kill him in battle. It is pretty. It is a fun novelty here to have snow. Man, when I lived in Ohio, though, uh, sometimes it wasn't as much fun. We'd get a, you know, have to shovel the driveway. Now I'm lucky to where, you know, if we just get snowed in, we have a super steep driveway. But if we just get all snowed in, um, I can just teach. I can just teach from home via Zoom. That is one nice thing is it normalized being able to teach remotely. In different situations like I, I'd never done it before COVID or one of the few good things out of COVID is that it kind of forced a lot of institutions to step their game up with um, remote working and a lot more places became um, uh, I guess accepting of remote work so I don't like to do it I like to teach in physical classes. I did it the entire pandemic. I never taught online. Except for the very first, like, March and April. Um, when it started, I had to. And it sucked. But other than that, um, every other semester I've tried to teach it in person. Okay, just going to keep the corn flowing. Try to get those bonuses versus infantry. Yes, we have just enough for this. So he can still hit us. Maybe he can hit us next turn. We'll see. Much power. Ooh, global recruitment minus one. Nice. It is very expensive to hire globally. I think we're okay. I mean, we could get one Nurgling. I mean, we're, we're fine. Losing that dude, it's just the way that we lost him was, you know, obviously frustrating for me. Um, I don't know what this means. Additional chance for corn rewards. Because none of these are, like, rewards. Unless that means, like, in battle... You have a higher chance of getting like a different battle thing. I don't know. Um, okay, yeah, none of these really matter. Okay, inspiring presence is like okay, but not crazy.
same time. Yeah, I think we're just going to go over here and go for Root Marcher and then the 15% discount. Even though, again, that's going to put us over the cap at some point in the game. Respect the North is also something that could potentially come in handy. Oh, oh where... Okay, so now we can get spawn. A bloody tribute to chaos. Supreme champion. Oh, that's pretty nice. That's... Okay, so that's only heroes and lords. So that's not everything. But, uh... Yeah, the longer you're in combat. Wow, that's insane. What? Tempered Rage, Burning Rage, trophy, Trophied, Collar. Uh, yeah, I don't care about the spell resist. I think I'd rather have this. Okay. I mean, I could get the armor, but... Go with magical reserves. Now, okay. could maybe borrow an army if they come over at me. It'd be nice um, if I could just get peace with Sorrel, but uh, it says they're getting pretty strong. I've been looking forward to this. Prepare to be ripped to shreds. Uh, maybe I, I should have taken that peace treaty while I had the chance. I just didn't even think about just running down south and attacking these guys. Yeah, I could get rid of the wasp and just get another corn hound or a uh, hound. The wasp are handy because they fly, but I got nothing else. These are all just kind of on standby. Wait, how close were we to getting the? We are at 2,000, and we need 2,200 for this. Okay. And then the final piece of this set is the same thing. Okay. Blood letters and exalted blood letters. The 10 armor. And that one's 10 bonus versus infantry. Okay. Alright. So we got. Wow, what is that name? Raguri Irhirovan or something? <laughs> He's like, nah. He's hoping to pick up the scraps if those elves did enough damage to me. Oh, okay, they're weak. We're going for it. They saw we got a bounty on their head. I don't think they can see that, but that'd be funny if they saw it and they're just like, nah. Alright. Yeah, this fool's coming through here again. Um. Let's 
just like four units. That's like so wimpy. I mean, I'm not sure how effective that is, but he's not able to replenish, so it'll slowly whittle him down. I think he's going to be on guard next turn, though. Okay, so we have to decide. Bay of Blades is first stop. Can we beat him? We could put a Nurgle one down and try to stop him from moving. As fast. I guess we'll go with that. And do we just hire a lord and just just throw some nerglings in there? Let's see if he goes for it. I mean, he's probably gonna go for this one first. I don't think we need that much more, like. I think we could, might. I mean, we might be able to beat this straight up. I don't really want to afford a full-on second army right now, though. I'm not quite there financially. Um. Okay, we're gonna dash. They shouldn't have any more armies. Although there could be another like humanoid army, but. Okay, and then that's going to be it for this episode. war coordination targets, so they're not at war with, yes. um, dude, now I could borrow an army, that's another thing. Does Greyling still have an army around here? Uh, I think they took it somewhere. Okay. We'll figure it out next time, and, you know, if we can do a lot of damage to him right here, there's a chance we could slow him for quite a while. Uh, if we can get that bonus versus infantry, that does apply to garrisons, I'm pretty sure. That would be huge. Um, but anyways, okay, well that's going to be it. Thank y'all very much for tuning in. As always, I appreciate it. Be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoy the content, and I'll see you next time. Have a good day.